Hi guys, this is Dormouse03. Welcome back to my Evil Within 2 100% walkthrough where I am showing you how to get all of the achievements and trophies in this game. We are in Chapter 6 of our first playthrough here on Nightmare Difficulty. And about to start this chapter off. Establish contact with the marker, Agent Kidman. About time. Patch him through. Sebastian? Sebastian, are you there? Kidman. Finally. Are you all right? That psycho is still on the loose in here. I turned on the emitter, and that seemed to slow him down. But he got away. And he's got Lily. She must be so scared and alone. Oh. I've got to find her before he does something terrible to her. I'm so close. I can feel it. We want to find her just as much as you do, Sebastian. Yeah, sure you do. Don't want your precious experiment to fail. It would be a real tragedy to waste all that time and money. I was speaking for myself, not Mobius. I spent a lot of time with Lily during testing. She's a good kid. I don't want her to suffer. I know things are bad, but I have faith in you. You've got to stay focused so we can save her. Together. Yeah. Okay, you're right. Thanks for the pep talk, Kidman. Don't worry about it. But right now you need to figure out where he took her. He said his name was Stefano. Stefano. Copy that. I'll see what I can find out and send it to your room. Okay. In the meantime, I'll check in with O'Neill. See if he can help me locate this psycho. Sounds like a plan. Let me know if I can be of any help. And... Sebastian? Yeah. Good luck. Thanks. Gotta figure out where he took her. I think I might have just figured it out. Not doing a very good job of hiding. It's almost as if he's taunting me. Well, if it's a fight he wants, he's gonna get it. I just have to find my way there. O'Neill, it's me. I see the stable field emitter is back online. Please tell me you found the core and you're on your way back here. Sorry. That lunatic still has her. But I think I have an idea of where he went. Yeah, I see it too. I'm picking up the signal again, but now it's coming from the theater in the other part of town. Right. Through the marrow again, I guess. May need a little guidance here. I'm on it. Looks like turning the emitter back on stabilized some passages there. Exit D5 looks to be the one closest to the theater. I'm not totally sure what you'll encounter down there, so watch your back. At this point, nothing would surprise me. All right, so here we are in chapter six officially <laughs> and we're gonna head on down to the marrow no real need to do anything right now You can always go and, and get some upgrades and stuff if you want to, but uh, there's no real need right now. You can use the uh, coffee pot to drink some coffee if you have lost any health in the Obscura fight. And we're going to go ahead and go back to the Marrow. And 
And so we're going to be heading through a different section of the marrow this time. And we have a couple of more collectibles and things and a bit more of a little um, of a traversal section here. We'll unlock one more of our achievements or trophies in this one as well because we're going to find the team psychologist, which is nice. So here we go, this is the new section that opens up. And so we've got a couple of things in here. Lily, oh, this place is messing with my mind. So we're gonna open up this, um, door right here. And in here we've got some stuff in a crate, which is awesome. Weapon parts and green gel. And that's about it in here. Then there should be another door on your left here. And for this one, we want to get this pouch that's right here on this Mobius agent. And it's going to be our next handgun ammo upgrade pouch. Which is very nice. Grab that, we're going to grab that. And then we're going to make sure that you continue to look at that side of this um, area. Because <laughs> I think that there's a corpse there on the left that gets up. So you just want to make sure that you don't trigger that. If you look at it, it will get up. And if you don't look at it, it doesn't get up. I think that that's the room that that one's in. So just be wary of that. Uh, if you come down here on the right, up on these pipes, we're going to have our next locker key. So we'll grab that and then keep moving. Now, up here on our right, we're going to have some more lovely individuals. We can stab one of them. And then this one is going to see us. But um, luckily enough, there's a barrel right there that we can use to blow him to smithereens. So you don't have to kill those guys. You can move past them. But for the sake of just grabbing some more gel, I figured it was worth showing you guys how to take them out and just in case they see you and you get in trouble for the cost of one bullet we got 300 green gel and some gunpowder so that's pretty fair trade And we're going to keep moving here. And so we're going to go into this section where you're going to start having all this white. Um, it looks like uh, putty. Like um, white putty that you would use to like fix walls and stuff. I don't know. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be. But it's sticky and it's icky to get through. And it's all pulsating and whatnot. 
and it's part of the aesthetic for uh, one of the bosses that's going to show up at the end as well um, but it shows up for the first time here so enjoy that uh, and we're going to see a secret society abducted Lily and stage this do you realize how crazy that sounds but it's true why can't you understand that I know it's hard to accept Myra but she's gone our little girl is gone but I have proof look Myra you're obsessed you need rest once you get past this you'll learn to accept no I'll never accept it if you won't help me, I'll find out the truth on my own. Myra, you were right all along. So after that, um, we'll pick up this slide. This now. So this is going to be photographic slide number four. Go ahead and grab that plant. And I think that's everything in this room, actually. Yep. Moving on. So in this next area up here, we're going to have to stealth by a... I'm going to call it a mini-boss. Because if you get caught, it's pretty bad. So you can see that it's kind of looking for us right now. And as soon as we have control again, um, you just want to make sure that your flashlight's turned off. And then we're going to wait for it to turn back to the right. So there it goes. And we're going to move, and you can use your, um, little arrows on the screen here to be able to run pretty quickly from cover to cover when it's got its head turned, which is quite nice. I'm going to wait for it to turn its head. I probably could have gone right then, but I'm going to wait till it turns back to the left. There we go. Tap our right bumper to move around. And then as soon as you move around here, it's going to move these objects. And you should be able to run straight to them. You know, except I got caught up there, which was unpleasant. But that's okay. It didn't see me. And then when it turns back around here, we're going to be able to move on out of this area. Come on, dude. There you go. Alright. Cool. So at that point, you're good. Uh, you can go and grab those weapon parts and continue moving through this area. I gotta get the hell out of here. Yes, Sebastian. We are getting the hell out of here. Um, so in this next room right here, there's going to be an object over here, and this is going to be our next mysterious object. It's going to be the fourth one that we have found, and it's going to be the mysterious bobblehead. Which is from Fallout. Pretty, pretty cool. So now note that when you go through this door, you're going to go into a sequence where you get grabbed and you have unlimited handgun ammo at that point. You don't need to reload. So just try to uh, unload a few shots. You don't have to worry too much. You do want to pick your shots carefully, but you don't need to worry about running out of ammunition or reloading um, as we try to shoot our way out of this little grapple segment grapple sequence oh, alright 
so we're just going to try to shoot this thing in the head. And then that's that. That is insta-death if you don't succeed at that, so just be careful. It's more nerve-wracking when you're on classic mode. <laughs> Because, you know, that can be the difference between moving on and having to do the whole last section over again. Um, but in any case, we have now made it through and we're going to be moving on. So there's no stuff right there. Uh, but there are some things that we can pick up in a couple of these rooms here. So, um, there is another wave door right here. not at all what we need to be doing okay and so in this room right here there's gonna be another file on the table right here or the desk and it is going to be report number 00532 displacement protocols uh, and that's gonna be file number 23 and also in this room, there should be uh, some more stuff to pick up, which is very nice. Replenish some shotgun shells from the last boss sequence. And then once we head into this room, we're going to have a little cutscene and we're going to unlock an achievement. been here was gathering data on her. Don't move. You're Mobius, right? I... Shut up! <clears throat> Don't say a word. You're not one of us. No, I'm not. Kidman sent me. Look, I'm here to help, okay? My name is Sebastian Castellanos. You're lying. Sebastian Castellanos is dead. What? No. Who told you that? Turn around. Do it slow. You're Yukiko Hoffman. How do you know my name? I told you. They sent me in here to find my daughter Lily. The core. I'm telling you the truth. I know. You do? Lack of microexpressions and deflection. No verbal parroting. I've seen enough to know you're telling the truth. Right. The team psychologist. I have to use whatever tools I have to survive. Combat isn't my forte. Seems to be a running theme here. Sorry for pointing my gun at you. So they're sending independent contractors now? That means things aren't improving. Have you found any other team members? I have, but the only one I've found alive is O'Neill. Liam is alive? Good. Has he made any progress on stabilization? The big emitter's back on, but this place is still falling apart, and I think it's all because of this psycho that kidnapped Lily. He's running loose in Union, and can manipulate this place at will. That means my theory is correct. This is more than a core disconnect. We doctors don't like to use the term psycho in pejorative terms, but in this case, it's apropos. Only a clinically diagnosed psychopath could affect STEM like this. 
A psychopathic personality type using Lily to amplify his power. This is the worst possible situation. You're a shrink. Any suggestions on how to defeat him? Psychopaths are antisocial, lack empathy, and exhibit sadistic tendencies. But their main commonality is their pathologic egocentricity. They don't care about people, only themselves. Can you think of anything that would be important to him? Yeah. He thinks he's some sort of artist. It's all he talks about. Then maybe the best way to attack him would be through his art. Destroying something valuable to him could knock him off of his guard. I'll keep that in mind. But I've got to get to him first. He's holed himself up in the theater. Right. So exit D5 then. It's right here. Just in the next room. Let's pair communicators so that we can stay in touch. I'll review my files and see if I can't dig up any more information about what's going on. I still feel like there's more to this. Regardless, he's probably going to be difficult to fight. Feel free to help yourself to anything here you might need. Alright, so there we go. The team psychologist found a, pinch, a potential ally in the marrow. Uh, so you can talk to her a little bit more if you want to, but we have stuff to do. So, uh, there's going to be a computer right here. And that is going to have our next file on there. Email core candidates. Uh, and so that's going to be file number 24. So there will be a way to get back to the safe room in here. Not going to go in there just yet, but you can if you'd like to do some upgrades and stuff. Um, we're going to have our next coffee maker, number four, right here. And so you want to go ahead and drink from that one. And uh, some stuff that we can pick up. Another red gel that will help us to upgrade our self a little bit further. And so we're going to go out through this exit right here. Grab a couple more items and then we'll be in the next section. Oh, not that way. Okay, so here we go. We're going to head back to Union and we're going to go into a different area of Union this time. And this is one that we will see a couple of times. but this will be the first and now this is interesting because you can do a bunch of things while you are still technically in chapter six um, or you can do them in chapter seven and for the purposes of this uh, I'm only gonna do the first couple of things in chapter six and then show you the remaining stuff in chapter seven just because it's a little bit uh, more efficient that way. That was another high-grade weapon part, by the way, to help us with upgrading our guns, which is cool. Uh, here is our next coffee maker, coffee maker number five. And so it's funny because we just had one and now we have another one. <laughs> But we'll go ahead and drink from this one just to make sure that we get it, even though we definitely don't need any more health. And then there is another uh, way back to the safe house right there, but we're not going to do that right now. The last thing that we are going to do while we are still in Chapter 6 uh, is come straight forward right here and grab our next residual memory. It is residual memory number 10.
You did not make it, son. So there we go. Residual memory 10. Nothing in that drawer right now. And then uh, we can head out. And like I said, there are several things that you can do right now if you really want to. I'm coming for you. Um... If you need a couple more bottles, there are some bottles right here, or a bottle right there. Beware of that person over there. Beware of this person up here. So this zombie right here. Gotta stay quiet. thinks it sees us and it does see us because it's mean and it has a hatchet so be careful about that usually the that guy doesn't see us but eh, I moved forward a little bit quick so I'm gonna go ahead and come up here Now it's lost us. So it's hopefully going to get onto its regular pattern here. And so usually what you can do is sneak up behind this uh, particular lost. gonna come up and it should um, climb up this ladder go ahead and climb down and then climb up after it then it's gonna turn to the right so if you hang out on the left it's gonna turn around and see me cuz you know of course it did I swear Ugh, mercy. <laughs> Please climb up the ladder, Sebastian. Alright, here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna hide around these things. And stab him. Okay. Good deal, job done irritating jerk face. Usually you can get up the ladder right behind him and it's not an issue but you know cuz I'm recording it's just I'm just gonna fail at everything that I try to do. So uh, that's that guy and you also pick up a handy dandy hand axe which is nice. Uh, here is a locked crate keep that in mind for later because we will be coming back here and picking some stuff out of that once we do a little side quest in chapter 7 but for the moment we're just gonna be grabbing some stuff out of this um, bending machine it's done giving us stuff now And uh, as soon as you walk over to these paintings on the theater, it's going to initiate Chapter 7. And so I will leave you right here and pick back up in the next video uh, for Chapter 7. Like I said, there's stuff you can go and explore this whole area of town right now, but it's a little bit more efficient to do that after you trigger Chapter 7 because then you're going to be able to do the actual stuff for chapter seven um which will just save you some running back and forth and backtracking so in any case i will see you in chapter seven thank you for watching and i hope it's been helpful